Good day students to computer studies standard 9 english medium today we are in chapter number 9 part 2 chapter number 9 is introduction to word processing before we begin the chapter if anybody is new on my channel and haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and continue watching the video this channel is going to be very helpful to you in standard 9 10th 11th and 12th let's begin now whatever we are going to learn just now is new for you new operating system and uh, new application so try to understand all the concepts properly now see uh, this is an operating system named ubuntu linux your textbook is designed using this operating system so first we should understand what is this uh, screen layout okay in windows we have got a start menu in the bottom part here on the left hand side while here the start menu is on the upper side and it is divided into three parts applications that is all programs places that is my computer and system means control panel fine now today we are going to learn about the open office word processor in your textbook sometime they sometimes the word open office word processor is used while sometimes the word open office writer is used fine so how to open that thing i have to go to applications and this is a office suit so remember this word office suit s u i t so i will have to go to applications and office and from office i will have to select the last open option open office.org word processor so like this way this application will open now the first awkward thing which you will notice is the close maximize restore button and minimize button are located on the opposite side in windows any of the application you are using microsoft word or powerpoint or anything these buttons are located on the right hand side while here they are located on the left hand side now by default when you open any new document the name which the application gives by default is untitled one this could be asked in the mcq so remember untitled one then you can after saving you can rename it according to your choice now i am going exactly according to the textbook the first option is what is there in the file menu so i click on the file menu okay from file menu you get the option new now see first thing is we need to create a new document right so there is a option call new now in new the sub options which you get is you can create a text document from here for which this application is made another thing you can even create a excel sheet microsoft excel type of sheet which is known as spreadsheet you can also create presentation powerpoint presentation and drawing drawing means paint program all the things you can create using uh, this file menu new option fine now at present we are going to create a text document since we are working with uh, this thing word so i will create a text document by clicking here now if i don't do this thing then also whenever i open any new program it by defaults open a new document so no need to do this thing see here it displayed untitled 2 and first untitled 1 was already open fine so i close this document this was just to teach you now another way of opening a new document with uh, so many good options that i would like to teach you is using a template this is totally new concept for you so try to understand file menu new option now in new option the last option which you get is templates and documents now what is the meaning of templates have you got any idea now suppose if you want to type a business letter then you will have to think such a lot 
how to type, what to type, what should be the format, etc. While here, by choosing the template, you ready-made get the options. Okay, for example, see here there is new document and second one is template. So I go to templates. Now, which type of Word document I want to create? Business correspondence, forms and con uh, contracts, my template, so many options are there, right? So, at present, I want to create a business correspondence. So, I click on business correspondence. Then it will show me the sub option as project proposal. So, if I click here, you can see that a ready-made format is given to me. Right, I don't have to type this format, I have to just change the contents. For example, here logo is given, there I have to remove this logo and put my logo. Next thing, here the address is given. Okay, so I have to type there my address. Then dear, to whom I am sending the letter, that I have to type and then this all things as per my need, I have to make the changes and my business proposal will get ready within no time this is the main benefit of this thing right template remember this word template and try to remember the usage of template how to insert a template fine now second topic uh, which is coming in your textbook is how to save the file okay now here also three different things are given first thing is simply saving the file so I have to go to file menu and save option or file menu and save as option now see here there are some differences for uh, save as option i have got control shift plus s while in uh, microsoft word we use f12 key for save as and control s for save while well, here it is different so i go to save as option fine now here simply i have to give the name now what name should i give i will give the name as business proposal Fine. Now, always remember where are you saving the file. So, I am saving this file in documents. Okay. I can change the location from here, but at present, this is the first document. I don't want to change. So, I keep it as it is my documents or documents. And I click on the save button. So, the file will get saved in document. And what was the file name which we had given? It was business proposal so here also from untitled to the file name will be changed to business proposal now this application is very slow and we generally don't use it because of this reason in saving also it takes such a lot of time fine so the thing is saved now second topic here in saving is saving the file as word document now see if i save it with this extension dot odt uh, so it's displayed here dot odt then when microsoft word will not be able to open this file so microsoft word is a international standard international program so to save it as word document what to do business proposal i keep the file name as it is and i go to file type okay as soon as i click on this plus sign it will display me this sub options from here i have to select microsoft word okay See, so many sub options are given here. So, from that, I have to select this option Microsoft Word 97 oblique 2000 oblique XP and click on the save button. So, keep the current format. So, now it will be saved as dot doc. See, here you can read the extension dot doc. Now, the last thing in saving I have to teach you is save the file with a password okay so i save the third copy of this file i give the name password protected password protected business proposal to see, give a password you have to click on save with password here and then click on the save button so here it will ask you to enter the password so i enter the password re-enter the password and ok so now the file is saved what is the name of the file password protected business proposal dot doc so it is saved with a password 
Now I close the file. How to close the program from this thing? And in your textbook, another option which is given is from file menu exit option. Both the ways are correct. So we are back to the. Now we come to the next topic, and that is opening of the file. So there are two ways of opening the file as usual. Uh, you have to go to applications, office. Open open office dot org word processor, and in that, you have to click on this option, open option. So it will show you. By default, it is showing me documents. So from there, I can click on this and open the file. It's taking time. It's very slow program, as I told you. I've already clicked, but it's taking time to open. so this is the first way to open the file it's taking too long time but i cannot do anything here i am helpless fine so finally it got open now another way is file menu and open option same open dialog box will open and from there you can open it and the third way to open it is i close it from here first okay i have to go to places from places i have to go to my documents in my documents i will see this three files which i have created now first i will open the password protected file so i double click on this so first thing what it will display me is enter your password after i enter the password then only the file will open now i prefer or i suggest that we all should use microsoft word but unfortunately your textbook is designed using this software so i have to teach you using this i am helpless here so now i enter the password and the file will open right so this is the thing fine now next topic of this chapter is moving the toolbar first thing is inserting the toolbar moving the toolbar now this is a toolbar okay now there is only one standard toolbar which is given here if you want to insert formatting toolbar you have to go to view menu from view menu you have to go to toolbar option now you want to insert formatting toolbar drawing toolbar then you have to click on formatting so you will notice that here formatting toolbar got inserted am i right fine now moving a toolbar suppose i want to move this toolbar upside down uh, then i can move it like this way by holding it from this corner and moving it so like this way you are able to move the toolbars i can arrange it like this way also but it doesn't look good so finally i keep this toolbar here okay then the next topic uh, which is there is the different views available here so at present we are in print preview or print layout different layouts to see different layouts you have to go to view menu you have to remember this thing for answering the mcqs view menu by default you can see it's print layout i can uh, another uh, layout which is available is web layout if i click here then it will display like this way this is known as web layout in web page it will look this way then the third way third layout is full screen so this is full screen how to exit the full screen you have to press f11 to exit the full screen and generally we all should use the print layout so this was about layout now the last topic which is left in this chapter is getting help something if you don't know here then you can click on the help menu and from the help menu you have to select the options but for that you need internet connection see if you want to get help on any of the topic here hyperlinks are given so you have to click on the respective hyperlink to get the help on that relative topic now another thing we are not uh, using this application at our house am i right we are using microsoft word different versions of microsoft word are available that is 2010 2013 2016 2019 right so to 
how to do all this work using those versions for that i have kept a link in the description all these topics which i taught you just now are explained in hindi language just now i explained to you in english it's explained in hindi language using uh, microsoft word 2013 okay and the name of that another channel through which i have explained this thing is techno crunch and the name of the video is uh, something like that i don't remember but uh, microsoft word for beginners part 1 microsoft word for beginners part 2 like that way all these chapters which i am teaching here i will be posting the videos on that so the link is uh, kept here in the description through that link you can also study all these things in the version or, or which you are using or in microsoft word here we end up this video thank you goodbye